Today at ShopTap.com, we're going to be talking about APR Plus software. Okay, so yesterday, APR announced the APR Plus software. It was followed by a firestorm on the internet, obviously because there are a lot of people for a long time who have been searching for software options that will allow them to retain their new car warranty while still having the added performance benefits of software. So notably, that's a normal thing that people would be super excited about and makes sense because people have been searching for that forever. Uh, and a lot of the deterrent for people to tune their vehicles is going to be warranty related. Uh, and full disclosure, before we go into this, obviously we are a Unitronic dealer, if you're not familiar, uh, Unitronic and APR are competing softwares. This video for me is more about comparing not necessarily one software to another, but more discussing the traditional software options versus this new software option, which is out there and going to be a popular thing that people look to because of the warranty associated with it. Now, keep in mind, while this is a warranty associated with it, it is not a factory warranty. And APR is very upfront about this, that it is a third party warranty and it is also a powertrain only warranty and it basically replaces the factory powertrain warranty in your vehicle. So if you look at their verbiage that they have listed here, it specifically states about it being uh, a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and it replaces your factory warranty. Now that obviously creates some big question marks in regards to the bumper to bumper warranty on vehicles and we'll get into that later. Uh, but I just want to talk a little bit about how this warranty affects it and your options when tuning with this warranty. So if you take a look at their verbiage, one thing that I think is just something to note, and I'm not sure how relevant this is ever going to be for most people, is that they have listed that in their contract or in their verbiage about these the uh, software options to retain your warranty, it can't be used for commercial use, uh, which based on the verbiage that they have listed here, that includes what I would assume to be like Uber or Lyft or anything like that, um, which may or may not be something that some people would do, as well as uh, racing events uh, or any failures due to racing, which again, I think there is a very few, few circumstances where there would be communication between the warranty company and uh, the manufacturer or the person servicing it, which would be a dealer. Uh, but it is something to be aware of that it is an option. But here's the biggest thing that I think most people would want to be aware of when they're looking at something like this is that in their contract, it states that APR plus software is going to be the only option of any mod you can do to your engine to retain your factory warranty. That means no intakes, no diverter valves, no upgrade intercoolers, no modification of any kind. Otherwise you risk losing this additional powertrain warranty you're paying the money for. So that's a key thing because a lot of people, when they get into modding cars, they look to it and they kind of get that modding bug where you do one thing and then you want to do another and another and another, and you go down the path of modifying your vehicle, which, you know, that's a normal path that most people take. If you go down the road of the software, if you decide that you want to do additional things, you're basically going to be throwing your money in the trash because the, warranty you paid for could potentially be at risk by modifying your vehicle additionally, which is a risk you would take if you got software in your vehicle in the first place. And at that rate, why would you sacrifice power potential, which, uh, for, uh, you know, safety, which is what the whole reason why going with APR plus software. So that's kind of a big thing that, uh, most people might overlook that I think is an important factor when looking at this, uh, software. Okay, so the next question is going to be around power. Now, I actually answered a question on the Ask App show. Uh, if anybody's not familiar, we do a Q&A show where we answer questions from the Volkswagen Audi community. But I answered a question about two weeks ago, specifically talking about factory tunes on vehicles, and at which point I said this. If they ever did, it would probably be a much more watered down version than what uh, the general aftermarket is used to. And because I suspected that any type of warranty backed software would have some concessions in power. Uh, this is definitely fits along those lines. Uh, the GTI software, if you take a look here, gets around 50 horsepower, 40 pound foot of torque. And the Golf R horse, uh, gets about 28 horsepower and 40 pound foot of torque. Uh, the cost of those is based on a monthly payment. So 
They don't really specify exactly what it is because they have it going through dealers only at this point. My understanding is that it's intended only for Volkswagen dealers to offer. Most likely that will go through the F&I or finance department at dealers uh, based on the structure of how they have it laid out. And it would be purchased either post or with a new car warranty. It's intended to be rolled into financing um, of your vehicle. So they have it at thir under $35 a month for the GTI and under $40 for the Golf R. Let's just make the assumption that's $34.99 and uh, $39.99 for those. Uh, and so we look at those power numbers. They are going to be less than what you would find from a, a normal tune. But I think the key to talk about here is uh, going to be the power difference versus cost. So if we take a look at this sheet we have here, we have the Golf R, uh, we have a Golf R comparison. So if we look at our chart on the left hand side, we have the APR plus on the right, we have the Unitronic stage one plus software, just for comparison of what you would see on these vehicles, $39.99 per month times 60 months, which is what I'm making the assumption that this is going to be the intended average term for a loan that comes up to 23.99.40, 40 uh, and that's 28 horsepower, 40 pound foot of torque. Unitronic software, you would buy it outright, obviously not paying per month. Um, although, you know, if you were to purchase from us, we have, you know, PayPal has different financing options you can offer there. Um, 83 horsepower, 70 pound foot of torque. So if we look at our cost per horsepower, $85 per horsepower for the warranty backed one, $8 per horsepower for the non-warranty backed one, $60 per pound foot of torque, again, warranty backed, and then $10 per pound foot of torque for a non-warranty backed setup. So now we looked at the numbers, obviously it's clear going to be a cost benefit for just power wise, it's going to be an advantage of a regular tune. Uh, obviously the main benefit of what you're paying for when you get this software is going to be the warranty and the peace of mind that you're getting that. Uh, that I think actually would be a very, very good option for a lot of people, except I have one major concern around this issue. Uh, and before we go into that, I have to kind of go into a history lesson. For anybody who's new to the VW and Audi community or uh, unfamiliar with kind of past history, there was a company years, a few years back who attempted a warranty backed software. Uh, they, they were called Stasis. They had warranty backed software where basically they would say that they would cover anything that was not covered under warranty on a vehicle that had their software or one of their packages on. They did a lot of um, Audi S4 stuff, so they had a lot of pulleys and different stuff like that around supercharged cars. Um, it ended up sinking the company, along with a bunch of other things and poor business decisions and that type of stuff. But a lot of the reasons why, and I know people who were intimately involved in that, and just for one example, um, from coming from a dealer background, there's a lot of technicians who don't really care for dealing with modified cars. It's not something they want to do. And so what happens is as soon as they find out that there's modified software on a car, they immediately blame whatever it is on the software because it's not something they want to deal with. Uh, partly because it's unknown for them and they don't really know whether it is or, or is not the software and partly just, uh, just because of their kind of bias of how they believe that stuff works. Um, but what was happening at a lot of these stasis dealers at Audi stores is that the dealers would get the cars in and they would see that it had stasis software on it and almost inevitably, no matter what failure happened, it was going to be blamed on the software. And so they were just sending the bills off to the Audi, uh, the Audi stores were just sending the bills off to stasis to get covered. Um, this obviously put Stasis in a bunch of really bad situations. Their customers were in really bad spots because they had failures on their cars that should have been, should be covered, but are being told they're not being covered in a warranty because of these common uh, dynamics of what you would have in a dealership. One example that was told to me um, was there was a dealer, Audis have an MMI system, which is like a, just a, all the interface, electronic interface into the vehicle, super expensive setup. Um, a couple thousand dollars for the MMI unit head unit in the vehicle, which is basically the brain of all that integrated stuff. And uh, they had an MMI unit go bad and they sent the bill to Stasis to pay for it because it wasn't covered under warranty because it was tuned. Um, obviously there's no engine software tune that's going to affect the integration of an MMI unit. That bill was uh, 4,500 bucks just from people on the inside told me. 
uh, that they had to pay because obviously this situation happened. Um, so my fear is always going to be those circumstances where, yes, you have your powertrain warranty with these APR plus things. That's awesome. And I think it's actually a great idea. I think the idea of this in theory is excellent. Um, my concern for anybody buying this is their bumper to bumper warranty. When you have a bumper to bumper warranty in your vehicle and this APR plus software does not have any effect on your bumper to bumper warranty, but could depending on your dealer you're taking it to. Now, if you're only servicing with a dealer who is the one who sold the software to you, the likelihood of that being a problem is almost non-existent. There's very unlikely chance that they're ever going to be a circumstance where the dealer who sold you that software is going to then void your bumper, give you any problems around your bumper to bumper warranty around uh, just basic failures. For example, PCV valves or diverter valves or uh, N80 valves or any other gambit of failure is a bad sensor of some kind. Any of those things shouldn't be an issue if you have this bumper to bumper warranty that shouldn't be affected by software. Now, obviously the key is this powertrain warranty is going to back your engine. And that's always your biggest fear uh, in these circumstances is that you have a major engine failure, which costs you many, many thousands of dollars. Um, and that's the biggest risk you take whenever you tune your car, that there's a potential for a major engine failure to happen while they are pretty rare, but it could happen costing you many thousands, you know, let's see, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 or more for an engine failure of your vehicle that has to be replaced that may not be covered in a warranty if you were to have that. Um, so that's my thoughts on that. And I'm really, really want to stress that for people who are looking at this software to understand that if you're planning to service or potentially going to service at a dealer that is non-local to you, um, that doesn't offer this as a product, there's a lot of risk involved. And you should be aware that if they're not a mod friendly dealer, they could potentially cause a situation where you're not going to be happy with that. And I can't stress enough how much I want the theme of this video not to be about one thing is better than the other. I want it to be about educating people and offering an insight that they may not have had. Uh, because all the software they're offering for this is going to be Mark 7 cu customers in general, that's a lot of what our demographic is. I want to make sure that anybody who is a potential customer of ours or already is a customer of ours is educated on what the options are that are out there and making sure that you understand when you're making that decision what the best choice for you would be. I'm not making that decision for you, only you can, and you decide based on the information given whether you feel like that's the right choice for you or not. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.